My name is Vahid Sandokhtar. I'm one of the three directors at the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Light. I'm also a professor of physics at the University of Erlangen. My area of expertise is uh, the interaction of light and matter at the nanometer scale. Um, we started this field of activity in 1996 by uh, combining techniques from quantum optics, near-field optics, and single molecule detection, and called the whole thing nano-optics. The institute was established in 2009, and uh, as the name says, we are concerned with any type of fundamental research where light plays a central role. Typical questions are how light is created, for example, with what quantum properties, or how it propagates. Meanwhile, we are also uh, quite active in biophotonics. In fact, uh, we've received a large grant of about 60 million euros from the state of Bavaria to set up a new Max Planck Center for Physics and Medicine in collaboration with the University of Erlangen and uh, the University Hospital. The goal is to employ sophisticated methods from physics and mathematics to address fundamental questions in biology and medicine. One of the methods that we are particularly excited about is the interferometric detection of nanoparticles via Rayleigh scattering. These are essentially very sensitive extinction measurements, and they're so sensitive that we can even get a signal from individual unlabeled small proteins. We also use this method, which we call iSCAT, uh, to track uh, lipids, proteins, and viruses on biological membranes uh, with unprecedented spatial and temporal resolution. I am Marek Piliarik and I have done my postdoctoral uh, work here at the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Light. Now I'm about to set up my own group in Prague. My big project here at MPL was to take the sensitivity of the IceCAD method all the way to a single protein. Although the experimental setup of the interferometric detection is rather simple, we still had to learn a lot to detect super tiny signals. We are now, on one hand, interested in improving and pushing the limits of ice cap detection, and on the other hand, in exploring new exciting applications, such as watching how bioparticles are leaving single cells in real time. Yeah, we are working together with Wahid Sandokdar and his group to understand how immune cells communicate with the microenvironment. And the fantastic thing is that we can use one single cell and uh, use the interferometric scattering microscopy to analyze in real lifetime what kind of proteins are secreted by the cells under certain stimuli. This will be a fantastic opportunity for our medical researchers, especially since the center will be in close proximity to our medical department. And we are confident that the collaboration will bring a lot of breakthroughs, understanding how immune cells and other cells communicate with the microenvironment. In our lab, we draw on uh, lots of techniques that we've developed over the years in uh, nanofabrication, nanofluidics, um, plasmonics, scanning probe techniques, laser spectroscopy, and even cryogenics to uh, investigate biological systems, both at the molecular and the cellular level. I'm Sigi Weisenburger. I'm a PhD student in the nano-optics group here at the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Light. I'm working on the development of a new cryogenic super-resolution microscope. To achieve this, we had to solve a few technical issues, such as acquisition mode and sample preparation. But once we have done it, we can achieve localization precision on the order of a few angstroms. We can localize multiple fluorophores attached to a small protein, and we want to use this to determine structure uh, of proteins or small molecular complexes. The conventional super-resolution methods have been awarded the Nobel Prize in chemistry in 2014. They typically achieve about 20 nanometers in resolution. By cooling our samples down to liquid helium temperature, we can uh, achieve a resolution that is about 100 times better than this. 
Our hope is to attract lots of clever and driven young scientists who would have fun at employing state-of-the-art experimental and theoretical methods uh, to perform such measurements. And we think that the excellent conditions of the Max Planck Society will let us tackle some of the most challenging questions.